Hello there, hope you're doing great. So um, I am Brahim, the SCD at Akbar Yum Academy, computer science student, Arab WAC vice president, Egypt chapter, woman tech maker member. And next, please. So that's me, um, the CD and John Yours moderator at MIC. So I'll talk to you about my journey and not only in the solution challenge, but also in the club and community. Also, I'd like to let you know at the beginning that I'm going to mix between English and Arabic. So uh, everyone will understand. Um, I'd like at first also to thank Mr. Salim and Erica for supporting us and guiding us in a professional way throughout the journey. It was actually my honor dealing with you all twice personally in Egypt and Dubai. And it would have been the third time in America, but unfortunately because of the coronavirus, um, I'll not be able to see you all. So let's go back to DSCAYA. Uh, for the good thing that I had uh, Komal uh, and Erica before me to let you know all more about Developer Student Club and how to care and how to cooperate with each other. So I'm going to talk more in deep about my own club, which is DSC AYA. And by the way, it's not under my name. Uh, it's an abbreviation for Akbar Ilium Academy. So DSC AYA established in November 2019. Um, next, please. Next. I'd like to let you meet the soldier there. Um, that's me uh, on the left. And my uh, colleague, Ahmed Ala. Next. Here we got Muhammad, Nuron, Muhammad, Osama, and Aya. Uh, this is the core team. Actually, I'd like to thank each and every one of them because without them, without being collaborative, professional, and hardworking team, I had nothing to be done in the club actually and be the um, one of the active, uh, the most active uh, DSCs in Egypt. So, as you can see. The uh, title of uh, the session is My Journey Through the Solution Challenge. Before going through uh, the Solution Challenge itself and the project, I'd like to let you know more about the CAYA, what we have done so far since November till this month, which is April, around six months in a row. Next. So that's like a chart we got here uh, around 12 offline events and six online events. In addition to three big events, including Maker Fair and two other events in collaboration with two other DSCs and three posters. Next. Let's go and take a look to our gallery to see uh, our sessions. So at first, when I began, I uh, made a small booth in my university. So we tried to uh, talk with the people in the university letting them know more about the C clubs and the core team. Then we got our info session in the presence of our project manager, uh, Aya Said, And it was actually a study jam about cloud, um, uh, cloud, learning, cloud uh, computing with her. And then we got uh, our first session and we introduced uh, students about G Suite and how to use them. Then we are here to the MENA Summit. Uh, it was Google for Mena Summit in Dubai. I uh, actually attended this in Dubai. And then we got also our second session in also presence of our DSC project manager, Aya Said. It was about data science and we 
solved like one uh, quick lab actually with the students. Then we collaborated with the uh, GDG 6th of October and we uh, named this event DX Gathering. It was actually a massive informative or uh, actually event fulfilled of technologies and Google technologies. So we got here Islam Methad GDG had of 6th October and ASAID. Let's go back to our slides. The first thing that Erica uh, talked about and that actually defines Google, which, which is collaboration. Collaborate is to know that you are not the only DSC, that you are not the only community, you are not the only lead, that we got more than 107 leads and clubs in the MENA region so far. Uh, and actually, as Erica told you, uh, in the MENA region, it's the first time to get uh, DCs. So you need to operate for the upcoming leads with the other leads, with the other communities, especially Google communities. What I have learned so far as being a leader, the first thing, how to care about the community and the team. As I told you, I'm not the only lead, lead. I'm not the team itself. Uh, the club cannot be working so good uh, myself, with myself only. The second thing was how to manage a team and sell, sell, settle our priorities. So we got some priorities, we got some obstacles, so we need to manage your team and to settle and know your priorities and what to do first and what to not to do. Third thing, how to work and adapt your plan with the capabilities you have or the qualifications you got in your team. So in the first beginning for you as a leader in the club, you can uh, settle a plan, good plan for, for the whole. Being a leader, you will know how to adapt, how to far with the, your plan you settled. The fourth thing is actually the most important thing, dealing with different people with different backgrounds and different personalities. So in the team, you will find so many other different people and also your students, your audience, uh, people who are technically not so good and others who are so professionals and so on. So you learn how to deal with different people, different backgrounds without judging and with uh, like getting a very good project and a very good uh, club actually. The fifth thing which is also uh, so important is networking. Networking is to know more and do uh, more networks. So actually I joined DST because I knew someone who knew uh, ASAID and then I checked her Twitter, so I found DST. So it's a big network actually. So you know how to get to know more people and do uh, the better thing for your club. The sixth thing, which uh, is knowing new technologies, I have never had an idea that they exist in the life. So uh, especially I got to know uh, more about Flutter and I wasn't so uh, good at it. So I got so many um, opportunities to meet uh, Ahmed Abu Dhab and so many other uh, people like Ahmed Subhi and uh, other GDEs to know more about Google, uh, Google uh, technologies. As I mentioned before, so we uh, held an event under the name of Geeks Gathering in collaboration with the GDG. So as a leader, try always to check and uh, see who can you do something together so you can collaborate with the other Google communities. Next. Also, um, we got here with uh, Higher Technology Institute, uh, collaborators with, with the DSC lead, and we did a big event in his um, university, actually. And also, we had a very big event in the presence of Eric Hansen and also Aya Said uh, in October 6th of university. So I collaborated and I gave a session. Also, here we got um, here our project with Mercel Foundation. Uh, I don't know if one of you have heard about Mercel before. So what is Mercel? Next. Oh, 
Okay. Here we got first uh, the project team before going uh, into the project itself. Um, there is me on the left, and then the co-lead here is Mohammed Hisham in the core team, and we got Ahmad Shaban. That's the project team. Next. What is Mercer? So Mercer is a charitable nonprofit organization working in the health field. Mercel seeks to provide all types of medical care with high quality to all who need it. It also seeks to spread culture and medical awareness in Egypt as an extension to the Arab world. So actually we focused on something related to medicine and the health field. So um, when I actually and my team uh, thought about going and uh, actually participate in the solution challenge, the first thing we uh, thought about it as users from the user veg vision and actually the also organization vision. So uh, we focused to get an issue or a challenges a challenge that faces a nonprofit organization, especially not a profit one like Mercel. Then for us as users or as donors, when uh, we thought about it, I followed or actually we followed the design thinking concept. So we noticed that as donors, we waste our time and money to call the orga organization or to schedule things with them or to know about the cases. So next. That's it. And then next. About the project. I'm going to tell you uh, what is the project. So our project actually divides into two sections or two applications. Uh, the first one, we got a front end and the back end. For the back end, it is uh, a web application. So it's the back end for the uh, Mercedes agents and, and workers there in the organization. We got our system. And the second section or the second application is a mobile one, mobile application. So that's for the users, for the donors to use it. Next, please. Okay. So for you, if you uh, are asking about the technologies used, so that's the main technologies for the web application, which is the system itself. The main language used is Python. And actually, Python-based framework. What is Python-based framework? It's Django. And the good in Django, it's open source and a free framework. Also, uh, we use for sure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and MSQL for the database, and also for adding Excel files or, like, or attaching it, we use the Panda library, and uh, Panda library is a data analysis uh, library. For the mobile application one that the users or the donors uh, will use, we use the Flutter. Next, please. I'm gonna show you now uh, the mobile, app, the web application one. Uh, I'll let you know more how we can use it. So the first feature we got here is the registration on the sign-in page. We got here the username and the password Next. For sure, you can uh, know and uh, that uh, this username or password, that's for the agents or the actually uh, in employees in uh, Mercel organization. And also in the good thing in our projects that we made it with two versions, an English one and an Arabic one. So, and also you can switch between each and every one of them so easily by clicking on the button in the upper uh, upper right. Okay. Here, when you open or the actually employee in the in Marcel open it, you will find in the left dashboard uh, that will show like um, a study for the agents, number of agents, for example, in Marcel, nine agents, cases, 12 cases, projects, two projects, donations, three, donations for this month only, uh, like zero, and donors we got so far, like nine and new donors this month join Mercel is zero. And also here, okay, that's the uh, Arabic one. So we got here Al Manadib, Wil Halat, Wil Masharia, Tabaraat, Tabaraat Shahrida, Wil Mutabarain. Each and everything is 
has been translate, translated to uh, an Arabic one. And you can do it uh, through the flag in the left, upper left here. By clicking just on it, it will uh, be converted easily. Next, please. Okay. So here we have, uh, if we took an example and started the cases section. So if you open the cases, you will find for the uh, patients, you know, we are not gonna write, uh, for example, a Ibrahim as a patient and she's uh, 20 years old and so on. No, we got some code for a Ibrahim like J, Z, N and so on. And also the amount she needs and uh, that's for sub and uh, sub 21 or sub one. That's actually like, um, you know, like an abbreviation for the, the category she, she got from. And is it urgent or it's not urgent? So the people can uh, decide actually if they are gonna donate for this or not. So uh, no, it's not urgent. Uh, and then the action, what did the action? So the good thing here in our application in the system when the donor go to the mobile application, which is I'm going to show you in the uh, coming slides, he will find actually uh, it, it will go uh, to this web application. And here is in the action, uh, me as an employee in Marcel, I can read uh, what the uh, this uh, donor tries to uh, like donate with. And I can decide if it with this donation will go through or not, if I'm going to accept it or I'm going to delete it. OK, next. And that's it. Here's operation, the same thing. Next. Okay. So uh, here, that's you as an employee in Mercel. So there is a case code. Only uh, Mercel knows it. We don't. We, we have no idea. That is an Excel, Excel file with no names. We attach it. So we will uh, write the case code, the amount the uh, donor tried to uh, volunteer or donate with, and description, a small description of the case itself. And is it urgent or not? So that's the back end of it. Next, please. That's how to add the case data to appear to the uh, application. Next. Next, yeah. If you want to add, there is an option to edit the case data. Okay, so here we got like um, a small message if you want to delete it. So are you sure do you want to delete it? Yes, delete it or cancel. So it will not happen by mistake if you click it. Uh, next, deleted 31. 31 is the uh, number, uh, you know, the column here. Uh, the number of the column. So it's deleted. 31 has been deleted. Then you'll press OK. Next. Then for this. OK. For uh, this is actually the first thing to appear for the employee. So uh, you as an employee are the admin. So uh, here actually we got the username admin and also the password admin. So to know and to see the cases and what the users have entered, or sorry, the, do the donors have entered, you just need to log in through a unique password. Only you can see it. Next. I'm going to lead you now to know the errors. So what if I entered something wrong or there was an error? So we got here 500, sorry, internal server error. Back to dashboard. Next. And the known and very famous one, which is 404. Sorry, page not found. Next. OK, so here we got uh, how to add some actions to your application. So we have here site admin or site administration. We got here uh, also uh, in the C panel, we got agents, cases, contributions. If you can. Uh, think about it. So we have got here main categories, our sponsors, and this will be all shown in the next upcoming thing. And my actions here, that's for some, um, you know, the users and actually the users here are the employees in Mercel, not the real users, which they are the donors. Next. Okay. 
So we finished the uh, first part, which is the web application, uh, which is the back end actually that Marcel are going to use, not you. So now we got here to mobile application, which is the front end or uh, the application that the donors or us can download to our mobile phone to be used. Okay. So as um, the good thing here, as uh, in the mobile, uh, oh, sorry, the web application, we got two versions, English one and Arabic one. You can switch between each and every one so easily. The same here in mobile application. So in the left side, we got registration. We got name, email, password, city, and country. Because, you know, Marcel actually is a very known one. Uh, so we are receiving, or Marcel actually, uh, they are receiving so many donations outside uh, Egypt. So it's very important to know which country. And then you are just there, that's to establish or actually make an account. In the right side, we got also تسجيل, اسم, email, كلمة سر المحافظة وبلد, نفس الموضوع, بكل سهولة تقدر تسويتش ما بين العربي والإنجليش. Next. And then we got login. So for the first time, you are going to only make an account. Uh, like in Facebook, you are going to make an account and then you got your email and you got your password only to be used in the coming times to log into your application. And it's so easy, you can press also forget password and you can, you can enter your email you signed uh, in before and it will give you um, actually a new password. And the same with Arabic version. Next. Okay. When uh, we open the application, this the first feature you can see. So let's begin here. Uh, I don't know if you can distinguish that there are two versions also. I just <laughs> forgot to add uh, like a line. Okay, so in the right, in the left side, we got here Marcel and the slider. We got the charitable activities, treat a patient, will drilling and care for elderly people and so on. And then uh, the user will see Marcel's projects. So there is actually a hosp hospital for Marcel and so on. The same thing, we converted it to Arabic version. So they are like subcategories and main categories. Uh, people can actually manage to see uh, what this organization present or provide for them. Next, yes, that's it. Um, so here we got our um, slider or actually here like the dashboard. We got the home, which you saw before in the previous slide, aging cases and charitable activities, my donations. So the good thing here uh, that you got like a history of your donations. So you can press on it and see all your previous donations. Based on cash, so we have uh, for Muslims, so they can um, pay their zakah and it can be calculated actually. You can read the app and some settings, some settings you can choose your username and change it. In the, so on about Marcel, you will find Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all their social media accounts. Next, okay. So, here for the donation section, you saw in uh, the previous slide, if you click donate, you will find uh, three ways. Uh, you just need to concentrate. So, the first thing in the left side, SMS. So, you can send it to a number. Actually, I don't remember the number, but it's 19 something. So, you can uh, donate using SMS and it will lead you uh, to the SMS in your mobile phone. The second way to uh, donate using a credit card that's in the next slide. Okay. So you can just try it to your credit card and password. The third thing in the, uh, actually, uh, here also in the credit card, you can find the amount. So you can actually uh, select which amount you would like to donate with. The third thing is request an agent. Who is the agent? The one that will come to your home to take the money from you or the donation from you. So you will choose the charitable activity like uh, Marcel uh, Hospital, and then you will enter the amount 900 uh, pounds, and then you will choose your address, and then you will press donate now. Okay, okay. So next, please. Where is next? So actually that's our project we are we have done the uh, mobile application design you have seen it's just a few like few hours to 
finish it and convert it to uh, a mobile application one using Flutter. Uh, and regarding the system or the web application, we got it completed. So for this CAYA, apart from the uh, solution a challenge thing, we uh, actually finished our three uh, tracks or supposed tracks, which is application development, that science, and machine learning. So we thought about doing something different. Actually, most of our audience are the first year computer science or engineering, engineering students. So we thought about next. We thought about making a series, which is under the name of Introduction to Programming using Python, right? Okay, so actually it's um, a very introductory series. It's gonna really uh, lead you if you are new to programming or computer science or computer engineering. Uh, it will tell you more about the programming um, and the software, hardware, and also we will go through some of uh, Python uh, things. So let's go for the next slide. Okay. As I mentioned, uh, we mentioned the thing or the name um, collaboration. So we collaborated with the uh, Maharat Mingogil. Uh, we made like, uh, it was a contract. Uh, we, um, they gave us uh, some digital marketing sessions and it will continue actually throughout uh, the whole uh, year until the new leader. The second or the third thing we are gonna do Okay, so I mentioned here uh, the solution a challenge and we focused on Marcel, right? So actually in uh, Akbar Lyum Academy, we don't uh, only have Marcel, we got other two projects. The first one, a university, uh, so, uh, university application project and actually uh, the team it, itself uh, are two in the um, core team, from the core team. What they are going to do about the application, they are going to do a mobile application using Flutter and Dart, and it will uh, tell, actually it will be for Akbar Lyum, which is our university. It will tell you about the lectures in computer science, engineering, and all our faculties here. Uh, so it will tell you about the exams and any announcement in the um, university. The second project we got is a website. I also uh, actually participate uh, in this uh, project in the previous slide. Uh, it's actually for coronavirus, as you all know. Um, so it will, it's like for an informative one. It will tell you more information about uh, coronavirus, how to deal with it, how to know if it's uh, you have it, and also how uh, to get an, a help, an emergen emergency help, and so on. And also we have uh, volunteers, uh, doctor volunteers, volunteered for us. Next slide. Okay, um, actually done here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, that's us in social media. So we got here DCAYA on Facebook, DCAYA19 on Instagram, and DCAYA on Twitter. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, got any information, good one. And thank you so much for um, listening to me. And uh, also here we got in the comments, um, Ahmad Ala, he's the co-lead. If you have any questions regarding the web application, please, uh, especially technical ones, please uh, feel free to ask, him, to ask him now in the comments. We got around 14 minutes. So feel free to ask him anything you want regarding the application. And I'm really interested and uh, looking forward to meet all the new leads and I'm sure they will do much better than us. Thank you so much. Um, we got here Ahmad Ala. I'm wondering um, until Ahmed Ala is here. So, so uh, how many of you are interested to uh, join DSC for you know for the new year? Uh, the new application uh, has been established and has been shared with you. So, uh, any of you thinking of for joining the DSCs and stop team club?
Okay, so we got here in the comments, Ahmed Al Qadi. Uh, he is the co lead. Actually, he can help you so much in uh, the web application thing. You can ask any technical questions and also non technical questions. And also, you can ask about the club, me or him. So feel free and ask him. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm really uh, proud of all the DSC leads here. We got some from Algeria and Egypt. Uh, thank you, mates, for cooperate cooperative for being collaborative and hard working and dealing with us and with me in a professional way. I'd like also to thank uh, my core team. Actually, they are the soldiers with, without having them, without um, getting a good and strong team like them. Uh, there was nothing to be done, actually. So I'd like in the end to thank uh, ASI, our project, or the say project manager for being so friendly if you can uh, if you notice she got like she was there in most of our sessions uh anytime we ask her to come she's here so we got here one question okay so uh we got here a question for ahmed Thank you, Aya, and thank you also, Mr. Salim, for being there and supporting us uh, like 24 hours at any time. So thanks so much for being there and for being a good friend and good leader before being a manager. And... Okay, any questions for me? Uh, actually, Ahmed is writing for you um, regarding your question. So do you have any questions for me or <clears throat> how, <clears throat> how to do, um, how to choose your team or anything related to this non-technical thing, please? Okay. Okay, so if you have any answers, feel free. We still have some um, minutes left. And please, if you need anything uh, or the slides or if you have, you have any questions, please follow me on Twitter, um, underscore I underscore Ibrahim. You can ask about anything you want. And thanks so much for your time and for listening to the session. Thank you.